Hi, um, so I'm gonna do one more tutorial on basic C++ before I get into more in-depth stuff. So, this one is gonna be a game called Guess My Number. And basically, uh, what it's gonna do is the computer's gonna, or, um, the program is going to create a random number and the user has to guess that number and if they do they win so yeah so guess my number uh... we're doing it in C++ uh... before we even begin let's be sure to include if um, make sure to watch uh, my previous videos if you haven't so then you'd understand this a lot better because all this stuff I won't really explain uh, because I al already explained it and yeah hopefully you guys are keeping up so we're gonna seed the time with uh, or seed random times Seed random with time. Ignore the little warning. Um, then we're going to say number. This is a number that the program will generate uh, in numbers. Right. A equals friend percent 100. And we'll do plus one to make sure it doesn't go less than one, so it's not like zero, and it doesn't go over a hundred. Uh, what? Uh, okay. Um. And we're gonna do with in. Uh, no. Yeah, in tries. Uh, which basically is the amount of tries it took them to guess the number. So. Yes. You, I'll explain this once we get down there. Uh, you'll see. <laughs> so do. I'm creating a loop. <clears throat> which basically says. Um, well number. Well well. Guess. Doesn't equal number. Um, what it's doing is saying. Do everything that I encapsulate in the squigglies while the guess what the user types in doesn't equal this randomly generated number hopefully that makes sense um so what we're gonna do is see how oh using name space sd okay so guess a number In line. Okay. Um, so guess a number and we'll see in guess to see what they guess. Then this is new if you've been keeping up with my tutorials. We are gonna plus plus tries. What it's saying is for every guess add one thing to tries. So add one thing to tries. Because in the end, I'll just do it now so you guys can see, see out. Um, you got, sorry, that's my phone. Got it. in. So, um. Basically, it's just <clears throat> for every guess, it's adding a try to insert into here. So when they find, while the uh, guess does equal this number, then it'll see out that. So, plus plus tries. Okay, so just for the user, so if guess is greater than number, let's uh, see out. Go high in the line. Okay, and then if 
S is lesson number. We'll see out to level in the line. Boom. So that's basic for testing purposes. Let's in the very beginning let's see out number in line. So just so we can test it. So our number is 33. Guess a number. Um, let me make this bigger for you guys. Oh, I wanna, so guess a number. If you type in 22, too low. Guess a number. Let's type. Uh, 76, too high. Guess a number. Uh, 12, too low. 13, too low. 78, too low. Oh, too high. Guess a number. 33. Good job. You got it in six. I didn't type in tries. <laughs> Uh, tries. So let's run it again. So 13, 25, too high, 11, too low, 13. You got it in three tries. Good job. Um, basically, then you can delete this line and you can really try and play this game. So it hides what the number is from the user. So guess a number, 32. Wow, didn't didn't think I. All right, all right. Forty three, too high. Twelve, too high. Eleven, too high. Five, too high. Wow, too low. Two. It was two. So you got it in six tries. Um, that's pretty much all for this tutorial. Uh, there's not much really. That's it's pretty basic. It's just using everything that I already told you guys, and then I just added in this loop. Personally, I like while loops, but I just decided to use a do loop, and then I did the plus plus tries. And yeah, if you have any questions, just ask. I might come out with another tutorial later, but if not, well, I mean I will eventually. But anyways, have a good day.